as I was saying, if I do encounter a tiger, I'm basically in the middle of forest. Since I've bypassed that gate to get in here, I haven't seen a single single person. I haven't seen any any motorcycles. I haven't seen any uh, um, any tuk-tuks. Nothing. So all I see is cows and water buffaloes. Like that. Look at these guys. The only problem, as I'm thinking ahead, is that there's no public transport available from here back to the back to the gate which is three kilometers, so I'm gonna have to walk this three kilometers back and then maybe hope for um, hope for a uh, shared tuk-tuk back to Rajnagar and then from Rajnagar maybe take a bus or a tuk-tuk back to Kajiraho, but the only the only problem is that that doesn't give me a lot of time to enjoy the waterfall. And because it's closed, there's no one here, which is great for um, great for taking photos, but not as great when it comes to transportation options. I'm really in the middle of the forest right now, so I'm kind of keeping an eye out for for tigers because this is a there is tiger reserves nearby, not very far away. Although there are plenty of other animals for tigers to eat, but I still want to be want to be careful, but regardless, this is a beautiful hike through the forest. Yeah, it's definitely definitely the waterfall. I hear it. Man, it sounds it sounds powerful. It sounds sounds like it's really big. I'm sure it is. From the pictures it looked looked massive. So yeah, this is one of the little tributaries heading into into the the river with the waterfall. You can see there's a dam in the distance. The water is pretty dirty. Here's where it's coming from. I'm going into the into the river and there's no one here. My only concern right now is how I'm gonna get back. Because if it if it gets dark, I don't want to be walking through here in the dark. Right now it's it's 3 30. So I only have like two or three hours before it starts to get dark. And look at this. Would you want to be walking through here in the dark? Look at the swamp. Just hiking through the forest. Hoping to not run into any tigers. Wow, the swamp is pretty big. There's all these cows and water buffaloes and goats. Those are the animals I've seen so far. Look at this cow in the distance.
Although if a if a tiger was to come through here, oh, I scared all the cows. It's okay. You guys don't have to worry about me. Although, as I was saying, if I do encounter a tiger, oh shit, that cow almost scared me, dude. I thought for sure that was a tiger. Damn, I don't know if you heard that. But why is it running though? All right. I was saying that <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. I was saying that if I do run into a tiger, it's gonna make for an interesting video. It might, might just go viral. But then who's gonna upload the video if I get eaten? I'm sure somebody will find, the, find my camera and you know, the footage will be, will be viral. Well, I'd prefer, I'd prefer that doesn't happen, but uh, we'll see. And I have arrived at a, there's a little house behind the trees so I've arrived at a uh, at a checkpoint it looks like oh man I hope there's no security here because they probably aren't gonna let me through uh, well let's see let's go and find out here's a little checkpoint all right somebody called me What an interesting day. So, as I uh, reached that uh, little checkpoint, uh, just like half a kilometer away from the actual waterfall, I was stopped by, I was stopped by this uh, the security guy who was uh, supposed to be watching out at that checkpoint for, you know, people trespassing and stuff, so. So he stopped me there. He said, you can't go any further because it's closed today and uh, you don't have a ticket. So I sat there and talked to him for a minute. I was like, I didn't know. I didn't, you know, I didn't realize it was closed. Nobody told me, which was a lie. I mean, of course I was told that it was closed. So while I was waiting, this forest ranger comes up and uh, I tell him that I walked all the way from the, from the gate. I wasn't aware that it was closed and all that and he was a really nice person and uh, he offered to drop me back to to the gate and then he asked me where I was uh, staying at and I told him I was in Kajarao so he was like we'll, we'll just drop you to Kajarao if you're not going anywhere else I was like that's great that's awesome because you know otherwise I would have had to walk and uh, take rickshaws and stuff like that but it made it a lot easier and they just dropped me off right now in Kajarajo. The only thing I regret is not being able to see the waterfall but the rest of it <laughs> was a nice experience it was a journey for sure. I'm so glad that I was uh, I ran into the ranger who uh, gave me a lift to to Kajarajo so yeah I didn't I probably would have still been walking through the forest at this moment if I if it wasn't for them. So, so that's it. That's a wrap for today, and uh, that's a wrap for the waterfall adventure, which uh, which didn't really happen. I didn't really get to the waterfall, so so yeah. Oh well. So that's it. <laughs>